What's going on everybody, Josh Wilcock here. And in today's video, we are gonna be looking at an AI coding tool for developers, Code GPT. And I'm gonna show you how you can use it with OpenAI Swarm Framework, which is directly integrated already into Code GPT. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so if you didn't know already, OpenAI released an experimental AI agent framework called Swarm, and it, it is an educational framework exploring ergonomic, lightweight, multi-agent orchestration managed by OpenAI solution team. Okay, I'm not going to go over this fully in depth right now. I will make future videos going over it, showing you how to set it up and uh, actually implement uh, OpenAI Swarm tool as well as, you know, other different frameworks. But all right, so I'll give you a quick overview of Swarm, and then you can check out the GitHub repo for more information if you want to. So Swarm focuses on making agent coordination and execution lightweight, highly controllable, and easily testable. It accomplishes this through two primitive abstractions, agents and handoffs. An agent encompasses instructions and tools and can at any point choose to hand off a conversation to another agent. These primitives are powerful enough to express rich dynamics between tools and networks of agents, allowing you to build scalable real world solutions while avoiding a steep learning curve. And then it says note here, swarm agents are not related to assistance and the assistance API. They give some different examples here of the agents in action. And then they have the documentation on how to actually run these agents and leverage this swarm framework. Now we're not gonna be building a swarm agent framework from scratch today. We're actually gonna be using code GPT. So if you're not familiar with code GPT, it is, like I said, it's an AI coding assistant for developers and they have their own AI agent or GPT marketplace, which is pretty cool and unique to them. I haven't really seen it in too many other AI pair programmers yet. So I think this is definitely something that more and more are going to start to incorporate. So I'll leave a link down below to the website. Um, you can see here we have an AI agent marketplace. So we got Lang Chang AI assistant, NVIDIA, Kubernetes, Angular, Streamlit, Claude Sonnet, all these different AI agent assistants, Supabase, Python, Next.js, and there's a lot more. So let's go ahead and see these agents in action. So I actually found out about this tool from Daniel San here. I believe he's, I don't know, one of the founders. He tweeted out um, basically saying that they integrated Swarm into their AI agent here and basically showcasing an example. He's also tweeted out some really cool features that they've added that I see that are somewhat kind of unique to them. Um, such as we've added a new RAG system in addition to using semantic search across code repositories. We also perform augmented navigation through nodes and relationships in your code base. Everything is interconnected and CodeGPT's knowledge graphs enable large language models to understand your entire code base inside out. This functionality is now being released to all users. So we can see here, this is the tweet. And this is pretty damn cool. We can see knowledge graphs directly within CodeGPT. If you're not familiar with knowledge graphs, I did a whole video on graph rag and showing how to set up graph rag. Um, it's essentially another way of doing rag and it has some more pros in certain areas than normal rag. All right, it has pros and cons. Usually it can be a bit slower or use up a lot more credits. But uh, other than that, it uses relationships and communities and different things to actually uh, get an overall sense and overall theme of, you know, whatever the rag information knowledge inside of it is so it can actually be very useful so like i mentioned i'll leave a link down below there's the code gpt uh, extension and then the code gpt chrome extension as well so that's kind of cool so to use it you're gonna have to sign up for our account there is a free plan and there are some paid versions as well so we got once we sign up you're greeted kind of with this um screen right here so this is to set up a crew so pick your AI crew, select three AI experts that will help you with your project. So for us, let's just say maybe Python, let's say Swarm, and I guess we could say Crew AI. I mean, we're not going to be using Crew AI. You could skip this, of course. All right, so this is what the dashboard looks like. You're going to see the agent marketplace, create a new agent, last agent created. You're going to be able to see the VS Code extension, JetBrains. All right, so within the dashboard, you'll see over here on the left-hand side, we have agents. So we can see my agents, and then we can see agent marketplace. If I go to agent marketplace, you'll see there's a bunch of different agents. We have the GPT-40 agent, the Git agent, the Claude Sonic agent. We have trending agents, 
We have library agents such as Next.js, Angular, PyTorch, React. Uh, we have assistants, so all these different assistants, Instagram marketing. We have languages, so Python, Git, JS, Dart, TypeScript. We even have APIs, so Twilio API, Shopify API, Stripe API. Google APIs, OpenAI APIs. Then we have different models. So pretty comprehensive. Of course, in today's video, we're going to be using the Swarm agent. Okay, then we have knowledge right here. So this is where you can create your knowledge base. So we could upload files right here. And our agents, or when we're coding, can actually reference this knowledge using RAG. And then also too, here is the code graph. So this would be for graph RAG, where you actually would be able to see the graphs, which is pretty cool. You're going to need to upgrade your account for that. All right, so that's the one thing. I mean, pretty much you could say the same thing with Cursor too, though. Like there is a paid plan and I'm currently just on the free plan because I already have about five or six different uh, AI coding subscriptions that I actually actively use, such as Cursor. But you can see here the different uh, plans on the professional plan. You get access to additional features such as uh, Git tools, graphs, agent sharing, code repository training, etc. But it's only $10 a month. It's really not that big of a price point. Over here, you'll see applications so you can do things like discord ai agent connect your ai agent with discord slack agent web agent widget git commit reviewer we can add different app connections too right here and once you actually download code gpt in vs code or cursor whatever you're using you'll see that it looks something like this so we got code gpt we got autocomplete settings so you can disable or enable autocomplete so once you enable it You'll see there's different AI models. Now you'll see CodeGPT has their own model, CodeGPT Plus and CodeGPT Plus Turbo. Um, and then there's Mistral, Olama, all these other models. The one thing I've noticed with the autocomplete for CodeGPT is you either have to use their models or uh, open source models. They don't have the ability to use something like GPT 4.0 or anything like that. Now, if we go up here to the menu, you can see chat, autocomplete, we have a React sandbox, so convert images to code components. So if I click that, that actually opens up here on localhost port 54112, and then that is the vision. So we could go ahead and upload an image here, and it will essentially create the components for it. All right, we have the extension docs and API docs, and I kind of like how it does open up within the editor too. So that's kind of nice for keeping everything within one location. Now you'll see here at the homepage, we have the ability to select the provider for our LLM. So we could use the code GPT plus, we could use Olama, LM studio, and then pretty much any third party uh, provider you could think of, such as OpenAI, Anthropic, NVIDIA, GitHub Copilot, Cohere, DeepSeek, Mistral, Hugging Face, Perplexity, Grok, and set up a custom one right here. So, so a lot of different options. We can go to OpenAI right here, then we can select O1, GPT 4.0, whatever you want. And then you could actually go ahead and start talking to it in the chat you'll have the ability to do forward slashes and you could do fix explain refactor document unit test you could also do at to at specific files to give it context if you click on the little settings cog right here you'll be able to change the conversational style from precise to less precise so you can change the temperature here you can change the memory to the number of previous messages to consider when generating a response now let's go ahead and use Swarm OpenAI right here. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI-powered appointment setters that work 24-7, never get tired, and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. All right, so here is the prompt. Create an assistant agent that effectively responds to user queries submitted through the console. It should also be able to get the accurate weather for a location when the user asks. Let's go ahead and click send. All right, so it's generating the response here and it's generating it fairly quick. So we can see here to set up this agent that does this. First, ensure you have Swarm installed. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to copy this command right here and pip install. 
All right, so I'm going to insert this code. All right, so we got the code in here. I did do another prompt and told it to use open metro meteo um, for the weather. Now we're going to copy the Python right here, Python assistance underscore agent dot pi and run it. All right, hello, I'm an assistant agent. I can provide you the current weather information for any location when asked. How can I assist you today? Let's say weather for Toronto and we got the weather for Toronto. Let's do the weather for Florida now. And we can see the current temperature for Florida is here. So other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you this new tool I found, CodeGPT. Now, me personally, as of now, I'm not going to be upgrading to their paid plan just because I already have so many AI coding tools and I do prefer Cursor. But I do think that this is a tool we maybe should watch out for. Just like a lot of other AI tools are seeing right now, there is the AI coding race going on right now. And I think they do have some pretty cool concept with their agents and agent marketplace. Like we all know, agents are the future. All the biggest companies are pushing agents. We see OpenAI now with their agent open source orchestration framework. So I think CodeGPT has that right on as well as using uh, GraphRag in their AI agents. I think that's really cool and unique. I haven't seen any other AI tool doing that. So I'll make sure to stay on the lookout for them and see if they uh, have any better upgrades too. And like I said before, I will be doing more in-depth videos on OpenAI's new agent framework. So make sure to stay tuned for that. If you're new to the channel, you got some value here. We upload videos every single day on AI, business, marketing, AI coding, sales, whatever the case may be. So if you got some value, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with the daily uploads. Also too, guys, if you've used code GPT before and you got some really good results, or maybe I missed a really cool feature that you think uh, is worth other people knowing, then let me know in the comments down below, guys. If you like code GPT, let me know, or maybe you don't like code GPT, but either way, let me know right now, what is your favorite AI coding pair programmer? Is it Cursor? Is it Zed? Is it you know there's so many different ones that we've covered and i'll continue updating you guys with the newest cutting edge ai technology if you're new to the channel and you haven't already joined our free community strikecommunity.com i'll leave a link down below to our free facebook group and discord channel so you can join that i got some really cool videos coming very soon guys probably within the next day or two so it's something that i've been working on for a while uh, for almost a week now so make sure to stay tuned for that video coming up i think you guys are really going to like that one and get a lot of value from that so i'm extremely excited to share that with you guys and then also if you run a business and you need ai implemented into your business then you can book a call with me or check out strideagents.com i'll leave a link down below our ai agents via voice text email will book appointments directly into your calendar or your sales team's calendar while you sleep so check that out down below other than that guys i will see you in tomorrow's video Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.